Hello drone enthusiasts, this is Dave from MeRC. If you haven't been to my channel before, welcome. This video is about the Mavic Mini firmware for the battery of all things. If you own a Mavic Mini, you probably have at least one battery, maybe three batteries if you got the Fly More combo. Now I don't know about you, but when I got my Fly More combo, I had several questions about the battery firmware and how to update it, how to check it, and wondered why only one battery updated and the others didn't. The Assistant was also another question. Can I use the DJI Assistant 2 to update the batteries? Well, let's find out. First question, how do I know when to update the battery firmware? The way you usually find out that you need to update the battery firmware is by simply powering on your quad and your controller and then you see in the DJI Fly app a message come up saying that you need to update the battery firmware. That leads to the next question. Can I actually check the battery firmware version within the Fly app? So to check the versions of things, you hit the three dots in the upper right hand corner of the Fly app screen and then go over to About and under About you can find the versions of the firmware in the Mavic Mini, the firmware in the controller, and also the firmware for the database. But if you scroll all the way down where the battery info is, there is no firmware version. It does show you your battery ID and other things, but it does not show the firmware. You can also go back to the top and check the firmware updates for the Mavic Mini and for the controller. If there's none available, then you're good there, but there doesn't seem to be any way to do it for the battery. So the next question is, how do you perform a battery firmware update? Well, that goes back to when you first powered on the quad, and if you got a message saying that you need to update the battery, you can go ahead and click that message, and then it'll begin to download the battery firmware update and install it. Once the battery firmware update is done, it just shuts the Mavic Mini off, but leaves the controller on. So you can then go ahead and restart the Mavic Mini and go ahead and fly. Next question is, can I use the DJI Assistant 2 to update the battery firmware? Instructions on the DJI support page say that you can. All you have to do is launch the DJI Assistant 2 and then go ahead and power up the Mavic Mini, plug in the USB cable into the computer, let it connect, and then press the Mavic button to get to the firmware page. You'll see that this is already up to date, but if you wait long enough, a message will come up saying that you have a firmware incompatibility with some module. This is probably the battery. Hit continue and let it go ahead and upload the firmware and then it'll update it automatically. Once the process is done, you can click the back button and you'll see that the Mavic Mini has disconnected and powered off. All you need to do is go ahead and power the Mavic Mini back on at any time and the firmware update process is done. The next question I ran into is sometimes you'll get a battery update message and you'll update the battery, but your other batteries won't cause the message. So why don't the other batteries need updating when the first one did? Well, they probably do need updating. The trick is you have to go into, say, the Mavic Mini splash screen where it first starts up. And instead of going and flying, you have to wait long enough for the battery update message. If you don't, you'll miss it. Same thing with the DJI Assistant. You have to get to that firmware page and then wait quite a while until that message comes up. If you don't, you'll miss it entirely, and you may not even think you need an update. Okay, so that answers most of the questions that I ran into when I was working with the Mavic Mini batteries. If you have any of your own, just leave some comments under the video, and I'll see if I can answer them. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel, and we'll see you next time.